What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am super excited because I have two new additions to my small but quickly growing tarantula collection. So after these two new additions it'll bring me up to seven tarantulas which I'm pretty proud of in a short period of time. So here on the right I have a small one centimeter spiderling for the Brachypelma albopelosum which is better known as the curly hair. Again this one's about one centimeter see I had the little setup I'm just using some of these uh, like clear specimen jars some substrate and a fake leaf in there for a little shelter should be plenty big enough for the time being and on the left I am super excited this one's sort of hard to pronounce Tapanokenius violosius which is the purple tree spider this one's supposed to be a little bigger at about four centimeters. Also uh, supposed to be a female, but we will see. I bought both of these from spidersworld.eu, which if you have never used them before is a fantastic site. Spiders, great selection, competitive prices, including the shipping from Poland and even from Poland to the United States. It's just uh, probably about a week total from order until it arrived at my door. So I'm super excited. Okay, so I'm doing two unboxings here. Uh, I sort of learned from my last time. You can see I've got my little cardboard set up here because last time if you did not see that video I will link to it above right here. I had one of my spiderlings make a bolt for it and I was actually up on my table. Thankfully I was able to catch her before she fell potentially to her death so I'm doing this on the ground right now with a small little enclosure in case they decide to bolt. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the Brachypelma albopelosum first. I did check, I'm not sure if it's gonna actually show up on camera. Nah, probably not, there's too much glare, but it is a very tiny, cute little spider. It's kind of sort of harder to transfer them when they're so small. Let's see if I can just pull this out. Just because you're afraid, they're so small and delicate, you're afraid to harm them. And the paper towel sort of stuck to the side from the, I guess, the water they sprayed, so that's sort of difficult. Okay, I'm just going to sort of, she's sort of closer on this camera side on this end, so I'm going to See if I can poke her with my little delicate paintbrush from the back side just to get her to run down into the enclosure here. Not really working, so I'm going to try unraveling it. I just feel like I'm playing with fire doing these little transfers. There she is, look how cute. Tiny. She was going in, then changed her mind. Now she's on the outside of the enclosure, of course. Okay, she's in. Give her a quick poke. Probably not going to be able to see her down there. Okay, one in the new home. And seal that up. And for the second one, the Tapanocanius, the purple tree spider, again, should be quite a bit bigger than the other one. When you're taking these lids off, just be careful because it's sort of hard to tell where the spider is sometimes. That one does look like a good size, and it does look like she molted. Unless I got two spiders for the price of one. Sort of running forward, so I might just be able to dump her in there. You can see her right there hanging out. I 
Okay, there she is, pretty good size. This looks like a perfect size little terrarium setup. Let's see if I can just sort of upend her in there. Of course not, she wants to hang out. Okay, she is like a ninja. She was in there, I thought she was on the bottom of the little jar right here, but she's actually under the leaf, the fake leaf plant in there on the terrarium. So she's good to go. Can't really see that nice purple color yet. She just looks pretty dark, but you know, when the tarantulas are smaller with each molt as they get bigger, that color starts to show up more and more. So they get more fun to watch, watch them grow. All right, everyone, that will do it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have not subscribed and you love thing, all things tarantulas and insects, please consider subscribing. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video.